Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, I'm going to make my own paper. I've been making journals and all kinds of things, and I get tired of using the same old paper, and I really can't get to the store. So, I had seen this on Pinterest, and I thought, I'm going to try it. Will I succeed? I have no idea. If you see this video, you'll know I'm happy with it. So, I have a piece of uh, deli paper on my uh, non-stick mat because I tried this prior and it stuck to my desk, which hello, of course it would, I'm gluing, right? Okay, so I just have some Mod Podge on here. I should have used the Mod Podge Ultra so I could have um, sprayed it. So, you know, I didn't, but we're going in. It's a little shiny, give me a minute. So I'm gonna take some lace and I'm gonna lay it like that. I'm gonna take some, this is just, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. This is just some tool, my favorite band. I know Dan uh, Danielle's probably not watching this, but. Tool, tool, tool. Okay, so you can see I'm just, laying some glue on the top. I want it to make contact and to the bottom paper because I want to use this and cut it up and you know. Okay. A little bit more glue. Alright, so what else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do okay Dave take some yarn and kind of make it I'm gonna get as much bang from my buck like so if I cut down here I have some but you know what I mean and I love these little purple um sequins and I have more yarn that I'll have go this way and this is a thick yarn now I think what I'm going to have to do is add some more glue because obviously, oh my God, I'm such a mess today. So I'm just going to lay it down like this, like Stephen Pierce did laying down the dough. I'm probably the only one who gets that. I really want to try to get around these edges, but we'll see. We shall see. I'm going to have two videos on this. This is the first one. Now you can use vellum. Vellum would be good. This is just deli paper that um, I have sitting here. So. Okay. I still might spray it because it'll be a little bit better. All right, so then I have that. Then I'm going to take some gold stars. And I would pick it up with my hands, but they're a little sticky. So I'm just going to lightly pepper it. Right, maybe I'll just do it by hand. Kind of all over. So wherever I cut, There'll be some, you know, some stars. Should have grabbed my other stars, but I didn't. Then I have some. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? I'm so sticky. Okay, it's not there. Here it is. Some of this really cool glitter. I guess it's glitter or mica. And I'm just going to lightly salt it. Because I did pepper before and salt and pepper. Cause, okay. Okay. Around and around. Go like that. Now, this would be really cool to um, like, I, I would seal it now. But I think what I'm going to do, I could add more glitter. Oh, I want to add all the things, but I'm going to add some ink. Now you could use acrylic paint. You could spray. Maybe we'll spray. 
I don't know, we're playing. So I'm just going to take, okay, maybe she's too thick. Thick like me. And when I put the other piece on, it will squish it a little bit. And I don't necessarily want it to be um, so opaque. Do you know what I mean? But I'm going. And then I'm going to red. This is pyrrole red. That was cerulean blue. Cerulean blue hue. Oh, I love. Do you see when that hits underneath there how it like spreads? Oh, I could even spray a little bit of water. Now, God willing, and the creek don't rise, the uh, maybe the blue and red will um, mix into some purple. We don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to do a little bit of yellow, orange, maize hoe. I do have white, but I don't think I'm going to use it. We'll see. Okay. All right. So just the littlest bit of water to kind of get that moving, not too much. And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to grab, I mean, I could go wild and have so much, um, but I'm not. Grab this. I'm going to lay this down on top the best I can. And let me tell you, make sure you have your non-stick underneath. Because you're going to see when you lift it up, you might not even want to lift it up now until it's dry. Now, I'm probably going to need a little bit more glue over here. So you could see by me just lifting it up with no resistance. So I am going to go in and just add a little bit. It's going to mesh things around a little bit, but who doesn't like a little mush mush? You know what I mean? In the bush? No? Okay. I know it's push push, but sometimes I just like to sing my own words. Now, if I had a roly poly, which, oh, is that you? Roly poly? I'm just going to give it a little roll to make them really adhere. And then I'm going to do um, another video where if you don't have deli paper, what to do to get a little bit, you know, supplies are limited. Okay. So if I lift this up, See how it just comes right out? That's what you want. You see how we're getting, we're getting something. Gotta be starting some. Oh my God. See, I just always want to sing and then I always get in trouble. I get uh, demonetized, which sometimes it's worth the song. You know what I mean? I want to put a song in your heart. Okay. And that's just really pushing that glue. It's really pushing it, pushing it real good. You know what I'm saying? But now we have this. So this will have to dry and then we will, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to lay that over there for now. Okay. So now I'm going to show you what you can do. Obviously you probably already know. We're going to take some Mod Podge and we'll just do a small square because I could sit here and do this whole thing, but I have to be reasonable and I have to understand that I'm on video and that, you know, who the hell wants to watch me for six hours until Mod Podge dries. So you can see I have that, right? No big deal. Can you use a uh, white all glue, school glue, all glue, right? Whatever it's called, all purpose. Yeah. 
Can you use Mod Podge? Of course. Can you use Decoupage? Yes, you can. Can you use Gel Medium? Why not? You see what I'm saying? Do we use them? Now, I'm, I might use this because I really like this. Let's see. Let me see if I can cut some of it. Okay. They've bought me a new pair of scissors because mine are all destroyed. Because I use them for everything. All right. So I'm just going to lay this down like this. I'll do it like in the middle, kind of. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm going to get my hands in there all wet and sticky. And that's what she said. All right. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit more of my Mod Podge. I was going to do another video, but obviously I'm, I'm going all in. Why not? Okay. Okay. Now, I'm not going to worry about that because I'll just cut that off for the time being. Whenever I do it. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe when it's dry. Who knows? Then I'm going to take some of my glitters. This is blue. My One of my favorite bands. Blue October. All right. I'm going to just kind of help that mush in. Now, yeah, you look and you say, oh, right, it's going to be the fabric. No, I'm going to get some of that on there as well as I put more. I'm going to get more Mod Podge. I've really been playing lately, just experimenting and trying to do different things because being stuck at home, and I've been having so much going on that, uh, you know, it, it's money's tight and or non-existent, as they say. And, uh, you know, I need to figure out different ways to do things. Can't find any, hardly any of the supplies I want at the store here. So we're just going in. And you see, I'm doing it thick because that's what you want. Now, let's take some stuff. Just gonna go and pepper it, you know. Okay. Now I have some on my hands. Now you can use um, parchment paper, wax paper if you have it. Just you know, wax paper. Make sure you use the waxy side. And it should peel off parchment the same, but you got to let it dry because if you don't, oh, there's a little star in there. If you don't, what's going to happen is it's going to tear, right? All right. So now I'm going to take some of this. We'll just, just keep using the same colors for now. And I'm going to make it like, like that. Push it down so it makes some contact. Put that in there. I'm going to just use this blue, I mean, this black thread because pff, why not? Let's make it go like this all over. I do love the black and gold together. Not because I'm from originally from Pittsburgh, but just because aesthetically it's pleasing to me. The gold stars that they, you probably can't see crap because of the shine, and I apologize. You will when it's done. And I'm going to push this down. I'm going to push that in there. Okay. And then, hmm, what else? What else? How about some green and purple glitter? But at some point, I decided it was a smart idea to tape it shut so I could never get it open again. Kelly. Oh, that's pretty nothing. All right, look. 
after I wash it, I'll put that little plastic in there. Sometimes I do things and I'm like, why? I think I did it on here too. Why? Okay. Do some purple. Some purple. She ain't coming out. Why not? There's a hole. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, she got me. She got me. Well, I like doing this because I've done this a couple of times with Mod Podge on my nonstick because I like making like skirts and dresses on my girls that I make, my art quilt girls. that away and I think I think I'll be okay with just this um, I'm gonna add a little bit of color first I'm gonna like kind of see how I'm doing like this just to kind of get that glitter going yeah, yeah okay take my ruler and lightly push this down nope she ain't doing that <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. Okay. Ultra mats. Okay. So I'm going to use my Mod Podge Ultra. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Sorry. Would it be any other way if I wasn't a mess? And I'm going to spray it. And what this is, is Mod Podge in a bottle. Okay. This is like my third bottle I've used. I love it. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of this blue as like a drop. Let's see what it does. Because it's acrylic, it should hopefully bond and make this a little bit more sturdy. But here's the thing. If you do this, like I'm going, I'm doing obviously, you can, once it's dry and you don't think it's sturdy enough, throw another coat of the Mod Podge on. And that's my daughter. I will be back. <laughs> so sorry. I am so sorry. Ugh. I swear to God, nobody bothers with me until I sit down to do something. So what are you going to do? All right. So this is pretty much all I'm going to put on here for this one. And I'm just going to run this on the edges. You can see how thick. I'm not worried if... Um, the edges aren't even or you know there's thread sticking or anything like that out because I will be um I can cut it you know what I mean but you want around the edges oh I'm going into that dirty paintbrush you want that to be thick and luxurious so we could peel it up right I'm going to do this too. And you can see I'm just kind of like dripping it. Well, that was a bloop, but that's all right. I know it looks a mess, right? It's going to all be okay. Okay. So then uh, when I come back, it'll all be dry. And then you can see. 
how they both came out. I love playing. That's my problem. Okay. All right, guys. I will be back. Okay, I just want to show you what I'm doing here. You can see this is the two uh, deli papers, right? You can use vellum or, like I said, parchment. But what I'm doing is I'm, like, taking it. Now, it's still damp. It's not wet because if it was wet, it would tear. But it's just damp, and I'm squishing it, but you really quickly have to open it because it'll stick and then rip and the whole thing. So, and you can see where it's wetter, like here still it's kind of tearing a little bit and i'm okay with that i just keep kind of pushing it down and when i'm done i can put another piece of i mean a little bit more glue on there if i want so but look how the colors come through of the ink and that could be acrylic ink that could be um spray your uh acrylic sprays it could be regular acrylic paint whatever you have uh, but do you see how it's coming through i love this and like even on here, you know, you can't even see it, but some of the glitters are coming through. So that's all I do is just kind of, you know, mush it and then open it. And I like to do it in smaller kind of things just because it will rip and, you know, but like I said, I do go like that and then give it like that and then just leave it dry. But look how that looks like a tie dyed shirt. It looks like a tie dyed rag. So I'm really excited. Now, yes, you can do this with um, paper towel. You can just take a paper towel and do this. I like all the layers because once I, um, this is all dry and I go to glue it down. I don't know if you can <laughs> see. My dogs are just going to fight. Um, once I go to put this down, like there's texture in here. So then I can run over. Not only do I have my little creases that I squished, but then I'll have that like string. Can you see like that's a, that's a string right there. Right. And that's that blue that's picking it up. So it's giving me even more texture. You can see where those strings are. And I, I do go and just kind of run my fingers along it. So it gives me a little bit more uh, texture. So when it's dry, I can run over and, and do all the things. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick, because like I said, it looks like a paper towel. It's two pieces of deli paper. Could you do this with paper towel? Of course you can. Um, you know, anything, anything, use your imagination, but it's a fun way to make extra, you know, pieces for an art journal. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Let's see if I can get through this without my dogs freaking out because they're playing and they got a new bone and bones and the whole thing. So I'm going to do this first. So you see, I put like a piece of fabric here because that's where I'm going to start to pull. I know this is thin around here. So if it comes up, it you know, it might come up, might not, who knows, not too concerned. And if you feel like if you get to a point and you feel like, oh, I want it a little thicker, then put more glue on it and leave it dry. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> and you can do anything with the glue. I mean, that you, I've done this a million times. But look. So I got the texture on this side of the mat and all. But then I got the texture of everything else here. But it's all one piece. So what I love is now, to me, this would make, just because my brain's, you know, wacko. I would put this as a background on the art journal page, like a sky with the see the stars how pretty or i could cut this into a dress size for one of my art dolls or atc cards i can use this side and it's flat and you can see all the deliciousness right you can see the netting and all or this side it has the netting it's just this is the best i love it so that's what happens with that then let me show you the, this stuff first this is where i just put um, uh, paint ink on a piece of the deli paper could be any kind of paper. And I put, I started on here. Let me just, my brain is not with me today. Okay. So I started on here and every time I would put one color, I started with blue. I would take another piece of paper, could be printer, whatever. And I would go like this, right? Lift it up. Then I would do red. And then I 
did the thing, lift it up. And you can kind of see, you know, blue and red, and you can see the yellow, and it mixes here, and you get this delightful orange, and then you get the um, red and blue, which make um, like a purpley color, the uh, yellow and blue, which make some green, and you get some, I mean, a little bit of brown. It's not that bad, and you can see. But what's so great is look at that texture. Look at that. Okay, so that's a piece. This obviously is a piece that I did not squish um, like that other one, but I love that it has some wrinkles in it. So this is that piece. Like I said, I wrinkled that one because I love it to do a good wrinkle. And then here's the piece of the resistance. You know what I'm saying. So you can see this. Now, can you do this? Can you lay a piece of deli paper down or another piece of paper down, tissue paper, whatever you have, and put all this stuff on top, glue it down, call it a day? You sure can. Um, but I didn't because I wanted this to be, I mean, this is like, look at this. It's, it's paper, but it's like plastic now because of the glue and it drying on there, the Mod Podge. Mod Podge is fantastical. So, I mean, look at this. So now I have this great piece of, like, I want to say like a canvas, but it's like fabric. It's delightful. And you can see here where I have these strings. So now I can go back. It depends on my mood in the day. I can throw some white paint on here and kind of blot everything out or use this side. You can see this side is not shiny because this was the bottom. But this size has a, has a little bit of shine because of the Mod Podge. And I use matte, but, you know, it's the paper. So um, I can paint on here. I can use this as a background. I could cut this into ATC sizes. So I have uh, started. Um, I'm going to put this into a journal as a page. And, I mean, you could do front, back. And whatever you want to do and it's already started for you so and like I said it got texture that you can dry brush over and do so much so let me know what you guys think about this I love doing this kind of stuff and make different kinds of paper and that kind of thing uh, so yes so I hope you guys had a fantastic day please let me know what you guys think about this leave me a comment down below leave me a thumbs up so I uh, know that you guys like this kind of stuff because I love making stuff from home um, I love Mod Podge. I love paints. I love uh, the, you know, the Liquitex inks. I love the strings. I love them all. I love it all. So, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your emails and all the goodness that you send my way. There goes my dog. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.